This is Susan Holmes. This is August 30th, 2020. I haven't done a video quite a while since February 4th. February 4th, 2020 is when my I was attacked by eight males from the Fort Collins police team. Fort Collins police. Yep. On February 4th, there was a live stream of the Fort Collins police with eight males breaking into my home and brutally arresting me. It was live streamed. Thousands of people commented on that live stream. Now, I'm making a video because some information and some video has come into my hands that I didn't have at the time of that brutal arrest. And before I go forward, I just want to make a point. My attorney told me that when those police came to my house and pounded on my door and I didn't answer, all they had to do was leave a summons on the door. I was never notified about the arrest, ever, by phone, by mail, nothing. There was no notification for me until just the night before. But that didn't, it wasn't official. A friend of mine called me and said, do you know that you're the most wanted person in Larimer County? And I was like horrified. I said, no, I had no idea. So I found out late the night before when they showed up at my house with this team breaking in my door. Like I said, live streamed February 4th. And that video is on my video channels. That video is there of the live stream. Now, I'm making this video because, like I said just a few seconds ago, new information has come to light for me. My neighbors videotaped that team surrounding my home and breaking into my house. They have multiple videos of it. I'm going to show one of those videos from my neighbor at the end of this video. But I wanted to give you some context before you see that. I didn't know it at the time that my, I didn't even, I don't even know my neighbors. I've never talked to them. But they gave me this video and they told me, you know, this was just before they moved a month or two ago. And they told me they wanted me to have these videos. And when I saw those videos, it was horrifying to me. But I was really, really grateful to my neighbors for having the courage to videotape these people. And pop, it's very possible that, very, very possible that their videotape played a role in thwarting the murder of myself by this kill team that came to my house. Because the shocking part of seeing that video is I saw the kill team that was, sta that was staged in my front door. The four police officers, four to five had already, four of them, they're not in uniform, none of them, had already broken into my home when I was interviewing with YouTuber named Tim online. I was in live stream. They literally were yelling up at my second floor window that they heard me talking on the phone. They said that. I, sometimes I couldn't hear what they're saying because I had earphones on. But it was recorded on the live stream. So they knew I was upstairs. And this is an important point. Very, very important point when you go, when you see this video and when I identify markers and what was going to be taking place there that I finally know about. Uh, what happened is 
they kept yelling for me. And during their yelling, they used, they kept saying, Susan, come down here. We won't hurt you. And then you heard, and it can be heard on the video, Susan, calm down. Calm down, Susan. You can hear that on the live stream. I commented it to Tim because I could hear it. And I said, Tim, do you hear how they're setting me up? They're yelling, calm down, Susan, calm down. I said, what am I doing, Tim? And he says, you're just calmly speaking to me online. We're having a conversation. I said, exactly. I want to point out that I knew at that time what they were doing. They were making statements into their body camera footage, into their body camera, excuse me, so that there would be footage of them telling me to calm down. Why? Because once they lured me downstairs, down my stairs, they could kill me. And you could think, well, what do you mean four or five officers yelling for you to come downstairs? Maybe they were afraid to go up. No, they weren't. They've been there for a while, yelling and yelling. One of the officers outside who'd been throwing rocks at my window was saying, Susan, we know you're on the phone. So really, was there anything to be afraid of? Not really. If they were broken into my home, they could have just ran up those stairs and broken in the door. Just like they did at the very end. However, the reason why they didn't do that is they were trying to lure me down the stairs, down my stairs. Because the four or five officers who were already in my house, well, there was a kill team waiting outside back of my house. And once the other team was in for a while, they circled around and came to the door and staged themselves with three guns, one of them an AR-15. And they were all pointed in my doorway. Were they pointed at the police standing down there? Because there was a group of police standing in my living room where their guns were pointed. No, they weren't pointing at the police. They were all in that room yelling for me to come down. They were pointing it at the stairway that went upstairs to my room. And you're going to see that. And why is that important? Because when they were saying, calm down, Susan, calm down, Susan, and putting that on their body camera footage. Once I came down those stairs, they were going to kill me. There's no question about that. I have no doubt because I voiced that fear in a clip in part in that interview with Tim. I voiced that fear and you're going to see that I'm in a clip that I'm putting in this video. You're going to see me saying that. But at that time, I didn't know there was a kill team waiting for me at the door. I didn't know it. And by the way, that kill team, none of the reports state that they were staged at my door with their weapons. None of the reports state that. The only reason why I know about that now, and you're going to know about it, is because there's a video from my neighbor who videotaped them, staging themselves at my door waiting to kill me. There's no doubt in my mind so you'll see a clip from that live streamed arrest of myself talking with YouTuber Tim. And then you're going to see clips of as many of those team members I could get from the video. You're going to see their images so you can see what kind of people follow orders to break into a home unnecessarily and brutally arrest a mother of a child that they murdered, that the police murdered. The mother who's been exposing their corruption for years, who ran for city council, who wrote a bill, a state bill. You're going to see their faces. People need to understand that police follow orders. If they were told to take me in a white van 
find some kind of accident to happen to me and dump me in a field, they would do it because that's just how they operate. Follow orders from the corrupted Fort Collins police chief. Where is he from? He was hired from Chicago. Of all the choices we could have had for a police chief a few years ago, the idiot city council on orders of the people who run them hired him from Chicago. Dirty, dirty Chicago and dirty police chief. They're all dirty in this town. They're very, very dirty. They follow orders. And I believe they want me dead in this town. No doubt about it. Because that's how dirty they are. If you knew the history of the DA in this town, you would understand. He literally fought to keep an innocent person in prison to cover up an elitist in his town who probably was the one who murdered this young girl a number of years ago. Most likely it all go points to this elitist. But what they do, they railroaded poor Timothy Masters into jail and kept him there. And then when they tried to get the DNA testing done, this DA currently in Fort Collins fought all the way up to the Supreme Court to prevent that testing. Thank God the Supreme Court ruled in the favor of Timothy Masters. The T DNA was testing was done. Timothy Masters was freed and the governor exonerated him. This all comes out of Fort Collins. Fort Collins is a swamp, just like the one in DC. And they're totally connected. They're totally connected, the swamp here. Obama runs Northern Colorado, Obama and his team. This is Fort Collins. I've spoken about this in another video. There are very, very serious problems here in Fort Collins. And it's more insidious, more, more insidious because more insidious than you can imagine because it's anti-American what's going on in Fort Collins. This is not American. This is an outpost and the corruption facilitates un-American activities in the outpost of Fort Collins. I'll save that for another video. I've already revealed some of that in one video where I exposed the sheriff of Fort Collins. The first sheriff in Colorado to use the red flag law. He's not working for the Constitution. You know, he runs as a Republican but, and says he's pro-Trump, but that's a joke. He's not really. That's just a cover. Just a cover. He's the first one to use the red flag law because he's working with the group that owns and runs Fort Collins. They don't want any light to fall on their corruption here. So their intention was to silence me because I've been so vocal and because everything I've did has gone national. And I will continue to speak for my son. I am his voice in this world. And I will never stop speaking about the corruption and about the anti-American activity that's taking place in Fort Collins, Colorado. So they're using their playbook to try and railroad me into prison. To silence me, because that's the playbook. Use their positions of power to take an American patriot down. Someone who's going against the corruption that's been endemic in these systems for decades. And they're all doing this to protect their project. Colorado State University is the node for un-American projects where they train 
That's where they trained all of their BM protesters who showed up here in June. Colorado State University controls every protest here. They're associated with the Bohemian Foundation. There's a flow between people in the Bohemian Foundation that's owned by Pat Stryker, who lives in Fort Collins. Stryker Corporation, which has huge holdings in China, who got millions of dollars in loans from the Obama administration to create a solar company that failed within a few months. Pat Stryker, who's part of the Gang of Four that took over Colorado a few years ago and turned it blue with Jared Paulus, who's now the governor, and two other people. Really? They don't care about blue. They don't care about red. It's not a partisan issue. It's an anti-American and anti-corruption issue. That's our real issue in the world right now. We are, all of us, being subjected to totally corrupt anti-American people who are embedded in our government. And I've been fighting them for over three years. They're all connected. The person that killed my son, Phil Morris, brutally attacked a CSU employee years before in 2014, and this DA cleared him. After there were three witnesses with three witness testimonies, the DA still cleared his brutality. Why? Why are they protecting Phil Morris from Colorado State University? Why is he still employed there? Why? Why are they protecting him? He's a foreigner. He's not even American. Why? Why is the Attorney General protecting him? Why did the Attorney General block me from getting the digital records, the body camera footage and audio in my son's murder? Why? Why are they protecting Officer Phil Morris? Do you know in my case that they brought against me for the perjury? Do you know the first deal that they offered my attorney was, let me tell you what it is, part of the deal, is I had to go to therapy and be drugged, treated, which I've never done drugs ever. I don't do pharmaceuticals ever. But they wanted me to be treated psychologically and, and, be sub and take drugs, be forced to take drugs. That's part of the deal. The other part of the deal was, I can't ever speak about poor Officer Phil Morris. I'm not supposed to ever open my mouth about him. Doesn't that sound a little like the Nazis? With their special courts to put dissidents away in camps? You know? How about those programs where they've been drugging people for years? to test them. The best thing to do with a dissident, according to the Soviets, according to communism, is you drug people and you put them in mental institutions. That's how dirty Fort Collins is. That the DA put that as an offer towards. That sent to my attorney. Why are they protecting this Phil Morris? Why is he so important? Even the Attorney General from Obama's administration has fought to protect this scummy little murderer, Officer Phil Morris. Why? Why are they protecting him? That they would go so far as to kill me and put me away in prison. What is so important about Officer Mo Phil Morris? Is he some kind of asset? Yes, he is. And I know what kind of asset he is. I'm going to not talk about it in this video. But I want Americans to know everywhere that the swamp in Fort Collins is the same as the swamp in D.C and it needs to be cleaned up. And even though I'm living in that swamp, I am 
an American patriot. My father was career military. He served in World War II. He served in Korea and he did two tour tours in Vietnam. I lived on bases. And I just want to make it very clear to the Americans that police follow orders. They follow orders. They don't care what those orders are. They follow them. And then they write all of the reports to cover whatever damage they've done to in innocent people who speak up, who are considered dissidents. Don't take my word for it. All you have to do is look at history. The German police in Germany were sent to Poland to genocide Polish families. That's a fact. And I'll put a link to that story, but it's very well documented. It's in German museums because uh, that was their way of acknowledging the role that Germany played in the genocide of innocent people. But those German police officers, the reason why it's so important to understand about police and following orders is that they were ordered to go into Poland and kill Polish families, which they did. One of them objected and didn't participate. That's, this is a true story. This is what police do. If they wouldn't kill their own citizens, well, the Nazi hierarchy sent them into Poland. Hey, they'll kill Polish people, families. They killed mothers, children, young adults, and fathers. They killed them all. And you didn't have to be Jewish to be killed in Poland. You could be a dissident. It, not only Jews were killed in genocides, a lot of dissidents were, and they weren't Jewish. People who spoke out, people who objected were killed in Poland and put in mass graves. By who? German police. Those police, after the war, were brought back. They had... They lived in Germany, they had families in Germany, and they continued their careers in policing. It's true. They continued to work as police officers. So get over this. You know, conservatives need to really understand this point and stop polarizing themselves with police against the rioters. Yes, we need law enforcement. I'm not debating that. But stop polarizing yourself with people, with systems that are totally corrupt. The policing agencies in general are corrupt. They only follow orders. And what have been their orders in the last few months from their city council? What have been their orders from their police chiefs? Stand down. Stand down while the rioters are burning buildings and assaulting innocent people. Stand down, take the knee. Those are orders that the police are following. I want everyone to remember this. Police follow orders. And where do the orders come from? The city council. Our own government is embedded with un-Americans, with corruption. Our own government is what's operating against us. And that is what's operating against me in Fort Collins. Susan Holmes. You know, the reason why I'm talking is I want people to see and get the truth out before they do something to me. Right. You know, I believe that they'll probably, I, kill, I believe they'll kill me in well, some way or another, whether it, what, if it's a suicide or a hanging or well, don't, something. Well, don't Jeffrey Epstein yourself. I mean, write, write your stuff and say you're not suicidal. because Well, I'm, that's why I'm saying it to you right now, Tim. I know. I'm I know. not suicidal but I'm afraid that this is what they'll do to me. 
I'm afraid that if they get their hands on me, that um, something will happen to, to me in that jail, you know. And I'm also afraid to be in their hands in any way because police are violent and police do kill you for any reason. And you heard them earlier, they're trying to set me up to look like I was like reacting. Well, they were they were hollering at you to calm down. Yeah. yeah. And you're, you're just talking to me. I'm like, calm down, calm down. So that's on the so that's on the video. What a yeah, what a bunch of tough guys, man. They're taking down a 64-year-old woman with no weapons or anything. What do you I'm, not, not, I mean they're there still. It's crazy. There's one back over here too. Are they gonna break her door down? I'm gonna get it on tape. Be knocking if they had a warrant. Huh? They wouldn't be knocking like that if they could just bust in. Having a warrant for your arrest means that they can search your property. I believe they also have to get a warrant to be able to do that to sign their judge. But they also have probable cause if they believe that she's in there. I don't know that she's in there. Of course she is. They don't have. They don't have a. They have no fucking idea if she's in there though. They don't get to just make that decision. Oh, she's fucking smart because she's been dealing with them. She's probably getting getting fucking harassed since she called out the dude who was already accused of police brutality for murdering her kid. They're throwing rocks at her window. They literally are throwing rocks at her window. Make this easy. Make, make this easy.
But if they physically harm her in any way while they're taking her into custody, I would record all of that. Oh, I'm recording all of it, for sure. Right? That poor fucking woman. They're throwing... Are they allowed to throw rocks at someone's window? I don't believe so. I feel like that's also like intimidation. Or something. I'm glad I have it on video. There's four of them. Oh no, that's the neighbor. They're looking under her mat for a key. I wonder what Chris would do. Would he give them a key or would he not? I don't know. Like, I don't know. They better. I hope she doesn't open the fucking door and she makes them come the fuck in there and grab her. Not open that door! Don't open it, Susan! It's disgusting, right? Make this easy. Make this easy. Like you made it easy to murder a kid. That is intimidation. That what, what you're hearing? Please look at me, I'm so nice. Are you okay in there? You don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh my god, they're so disgusting. Yeah, it's because I'm videotaping the guy who's standing right here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he walked away. You don't want to be on camera? You don't want your face shown? Aw. I mean, she's not under arrest yet, technically. <laughs> It's fucking disgusting. Throwing shit at her fucking windows. And kicking the door. To the entire house is shaking? Yeah, it's fucking gross. Mm -hmm. This is this is what they do. This is what they do. P protect their own. Guy killed a fucking nineteen-year-old. As soon as they try and bust her door in, I'm opening the fucking door and videotaping it. Thank you. 
this is the end of the list. Literally this. We all get to make a choice. They are making this choice. Don't do not answer the fucking phone. <laughs> She's not gonna answer the phone. <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh, you wanna you don't want your face on camera? Oh. Yeah, I bet she doesn't want people fucking banging on her door and throwing snowballs at her fucking window. That's my guess. There's two right out back on her patio. So now there's like five or six of them for a 60 year old woman who committed perjury. Six cops. There's the unmarked car right there. There's the footprints from them walking around outside of our home and up into hers. Sixty-five year old woman. Perjury. Six six cops. Anybody see anything wrong with that? Anybody? We should Facebook live this. Another unmarked pulling up right behind the house, too. How many are there, do you think? Bye. Bad cop, no donut. Of course you're going to say that, dude. Are you kidding? They're lying, dude. That's what they do. They lie all the time. Literally, they will lie about anything they can. They're allowed to. But she's in trouble for lying. Do you know what perjury means? She lied. And you know why they do this? Because they think that the neighbors don't know, right? So they want us to think that she's, you know, this horrible bad person while they're kicking her door and she's under arrest. They're, 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 you know, that's what they're doing. It's, it's theater. It's an act. It's lying. God, do not open that door, woman.
Well, what do we do if you're not listening to us? Got like a battery room or a fucking AK or some shit. Let me cave in. Susan, you're under arrest. Uh, Fort Collins police. They have a gun pointed at her. Like a like a big gun. Susan! Like a huge fucking gun. She's 65. Like a huge gun, like an M4, for a 65 year old woman. Big dude right in the back. An M4 for, for a 65 year old woman accused of perjury. But they don't have to answer for murdering your kid? Can you please come to the door with your hands empty and visible? Protect and serve. Susan Holmes, you're under arrest. Susan, we're not going to hurt you. We're simply here to serve your warrant. <laughs> she should be scared. Susan, I can hear you talking on the phone. I need you to talk to me, please. No one's here to hurt you. That is not our intention. We're simply here to serve your lawful arrest warrant. I told you, that's what they do. They lie. They're here to take her away and send her to jail because she wanted justice for her son. For her kid, yep. Hey, man, It's terrorism. It's domestic terrorism. Susan, we can't leave without you. I need you to come down here and talk to me, please. Let's resolve this. So, right now, my sergeant's calling a whole bunch of more cops. You're only creating more drama. It doesn't need to go through more drama. They murdered her kid, dude, and they're saying this shit. I just want to give you a ride to the jail to serve your warrant. You can bond out and be back here soon. It's not the point. We're just holding right here at the door. You're making this way worse than it needs to be. You're doing this thing. Susan, you're under arrest. 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 Susan, all right, man, see you there. Bye bye. So, what's up? Who 
Susan, this is Fort Collins Police. You're under arrest. And then do we have a camera going for you? You need to come downstairs with your hands empty and visible. Is uh, Sam one to be showing what on? Susan, we can't leave without you. You need to come down and talk to me. If you can call county and then have them call uh, David to the police phone right there. Susan, please come talk to me. I have a freedom call. Susan, I understand you're scared. I know this is difficult, but you're going to have to answer for the warrant. I think I think more information to me for the next couple of sessions. I'll ask you to ask me some of the questions. Susan, I'm going to If not, we'll be good. Sixty five year old woman. Is that a, is that a gun or a taser? I think that's a gun. Please come talk to me. I'm pretty sure that's a gun, not a taser. You're making this worse than it needs to be. Okay, come back. You're going to add additional charges. Oh, he's going to make sure he blocks it, right? He's got a gun to her door. Yeah. yeah. Like, in his hands, ready to shoot someone. Police. Pretty sure she knows that by now. We have no intention of hurting you. I need you to come talk to me, please. Come downstairs with your hands empty and visible. Yeah, I specifically asked for you to make sure you were around. Did you know that you have a phone system in the so you have to have a phone call with the top of the house? And you have to get a picture of her. You can hear her. She wants to go down. And she can show up. I can see the house when it's not going to be all. So I'm just going to give you a dollar and then we'll show up. It's our uh, tax dollars at work. Talk to me. Nice, he's got his gun out too. For perjury, everyone, per for perjury. Yep, there they go. Hopefully they don't kill her too. They're breaking her door in? They're already in. They're already in there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, go check the back. You should probably take your phone just in case they decide to fucking shoot her out that way.
Gotta close the doors, no one hears. So they close the door, I don't want anyone to hear it. Make sure you're filming it. For perjury, they're doing this for perjury. Everyone has to answer, right? Except, except for Jeremy, right? Jeremy's murder? No, anybody? Hmm. I might actually kill this lady. <laughs> 